In this lesson we look at some work on linear equations and inequations. Examples. We're asked to solve the following. On the first one, 2 times 3x plus 4 equals 5 minus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, the first thing we'll do is expand any brackets we've got. So when we expand those brackets, 2 times everything inside the brackets, we get 6x plus 8. The equal sign then. Now that 5, well that's not really affecting that bracket at all, so let's just write that down. Okay, expanding that, certainly that minus 2 is out, out in the front of the bracket. So minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Then the minus 2 times minus 1 is positive 2. Alright, now we need to get the x's to one side. We've got 6x on this side, but on the other side we have minus 2x. So that minus 2x will take it to the other side. And when you change the side, you change the sign. So the minus 2x will become plus 2x. So we'll have 6x plus 2x, which is 8x. And we put the equals underneath each other. Now very deliberate, try to keep the equals underneath each other in a straight line there. Now on the right side we have 5 plus 2, well that's 7, but that 8 needs to come over, it becomes minus 8. So we'll have 7 minus 8, which is minus 1. Now we need to get the x by itself. At the moment it's timesing by that 8. The opposite of that will be divide by 8, and we must do to the other side as well. So you can see then on the left hand side those 8's cancel. So that's good, we've got x by itself, and minus 1 divided by 8, we'll just simplify that as minus 1 over 8. Very good. Our second example has got some fractions, so first thing we'll do is just rewrite it again. Left a little bit of space because we're going to do some cancelling down with some fractions there. Okay, now the 3 and the 4, we want to get rid of fractions. We do that by multiplying by a common denominator. So you've got to ask yourself, what does 3 and 4 go into? Well, it goes into 12. So we're going to multiply the first one by 12, and the second one by 12, and what else? The last one by 12. Make sure, it's a very common mistake, people forget to multiply that last thing by 12. Okay? So here we go, 12 divided by 3. Well, that cancel down to 4, won't it? 12 divided by 4 will cancel down to 3. So you can see now the fractions have gone. So what have we got? We've got 4 times 2x, that's 8x, plus in the middle, 3 times x is 3x. And it equals, well, 5 times 12 is 60. Hopefully you didn't need to resort to the calculator for that one. What have we got? 8x plus 3x, well, that's 11x, and that equals 60. And uh, similar to before, we need to get the x by itself. It's timesing by 11, so we need to divide by 11. Do it to both sides. On the left-hand side, those 11s cancel. So therefore, x equals, and 60 over 11 simplifies to 5 and 5 elevenths, okay? Just be aware as well, the 60 over 11 where I've highlighted there, that's also an acceptable answer, okay? Because quite often in this course you'll find that some of the answers will be left in, as an in, what would used to be called an improper fraction, all right? So 60 over 11, okay? So either way would be fine. Our next one, again, we've got fractions involved here, but there's a little technique I'm going to show you when there's one fraction equal to another fraction. So let's just write that down. And that method is called the cross multiplication method. Okay, we're going to cross multiply. And it only works if you have one fraction equal to another fraction. And that's it. Okay, no, no plus or minus extra terms. or just, just it's one fraction equal to another fraction. We can apply this method. So we're just going to draw two lines there. We're just going to cross them over. And we're going to multiply. So 2x times 5 is 10x. Put the equals in the middle. And 4 times x plus 12. Let's write that down. We'll do the expansion as the next step. On the left-hand side, let's just write the 10x. On this side, let's expand the brackets now. We get 4x plus 48. Now we've got 10x on this side. On the other side, we have 4x. That'll come over become minus 4x. Okay, So we'll have 10x minus 4x. That's 6x. And then we have 48 there. And if we have 6x equals 48, you can probably do it in your head. Therefore, x must equal 8. Now, we're asked to solve and graph. Okay, now this is uh, what's known as an inequation, okay? Because it's got an inequality sign. It's got a less than sign. So 5 minus 3x is less than 23. So we're going to take that 5, take it to the other side. It becomes minus 5. So on the left side, we'll have minus 3x. And then less than, and 23 minus 5 works out to be 18. Now, 
we need to get rid of this negative 3. It's multiplying by x, so certainly we're going to divide by minus 3. We do it to both sides, and this is what you've got to be aware of. If you divide by a negative, we'll need to reverse that inequality symbol. Okay? We're going to be changing that less than to a greater than in the next step. So that's really the only thing you've got to remember with these in equations, that step. If you divide by a negative, we're going to do a reverse. It's the same if you times by a negative. We don't often times by a negative, but it's the same rule. So if you times or divide by a negative, we're going to reverse the inequality symbol. Okay, it's minus 3 and the minus 3s, so I just cancel. So therefore, we do have x by itself. As we were talking about, the less than becomes greater than. And 18 divided by minus 3 is minus 6. Now, that is the solution. We've solved it. Now we're asked also to graph it. Okay, so a little line there. Put your 0 in as a, as a reference point. Minus 6 would then be there. Now, x is greater than minus 6. We're going to do an open circle. Leave it open because we're not including minus 6. It's got to be greater than minus 6. And all the numbers then to the right of minus 6. Our second example with the in equations, okay, it's a final one. Now that 3x minus 4 is in the middle of two numbers. It's in the middle of 1 and, and 8. So let's get rid of the minus 4 firstly by doing the opposite, which would be adding 4. So we add 4 to everything there. 1 plus 4 is 5. Put our less than sign there. 3x minus 4, where we add the 4. Okay, if we add the 4, the 4's go. We'll just be left with 3x. And then it's less than or equal. And then 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, so we've simplified it a little bit. Still need the x by itself. It's timesing by 3 at the moment. So we'll need to divide by 3. And so we'll divide everything by 3. So those 3's will cancel. So that's good. So we do have the x in the middle. So 5 on 3, you could write that as 1 and 2 thirds, is less than, okay, x just by itself less than or equal to, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So again, there's our solution. Let's try to graph that. Put our 1 and 2 thirds down and our 4 down. Now x is between the two. Alright, we've just done an open circle on both. Ask yourself, do I leave them open circles or do I close one of them? Well, hopefully uh, all the x's are between, they're the numbers between it. But which one should we close? Well, that one there, the x less than or equal to 4. So we're going to close it at 4 because we're saying that x could equal 4 as well. Excellent.